Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 31 of the My Player series here on FIFA 19. We hit a goal scoring milestone in the last episode and today we're looking to improve and head as quickly as possible towards the next goal scoring milestone at home against Athletic Bilbao will not be an easy fixture. They're a good side. We've four goals and three assists in our eight games so far at Valencia since moving in the January transfer window. Uh, Bilbao are currently just two spots in the league behind us and four points off us. We are a single point behind Real Sociedad, who are sixth. But to be fair, we're three points off Espanyol, who are fourth. And the fight for fourth is going to be a massive one this season. There are so many teams there that stand a chance of getting that fourth spot. We have Sevilla after this one as well, who are another team chasing that fourth spot. Big games for the outlook of the season in today's episode. So we will be desperate for three points in as many of them as possible. Starting up top alongside Roberts. Kondogbia and Pulisic in the starting lineup as well. So it's not a fully weak side, but we could be a little bit stronger. But still, hopefully we will still be strong enough. Time will tell. Drop the video a like if you enjoy subscribe if you enjoy subscribe to the channel too of course as always to make sure you don't miss out on any more content whether it's this series or the newcastle series an episode of which was uploaded earlier on today <gasps> let's go play bill bell dear carby forward to me there i see the ball on for jordan lukaku knocks it quickly inside there to pascu that's to jordan lukaku again pascu jordan lukaku out wide there to Kazawa the pushing forward from left back. This is good football. Not quite able to squeeze that through a Hawthless. And Pascu turns well and finds me. I'll give it there to Gondogbia, who gives us an assist. Ball control plus two for my 75th key pass of my career. And Jeffrey Gondogbia scores against Athletic Bilbao to give us a 1-0 lead at the Mestalla. Early on in the game, through the defender's legs, the pass. Pretty unfortunate for him. And on his weaker right foot, Gondogbia has swept that home expertly. Really nice finish. 1-0 Valencia after 11 minutes. Pascu, forward to me. Out wide there nicely to Pulisic. There's options inside. It will be me. It's 2-0. Bilbao falling apart in the opening stages. They cannot cope with this. We've been playing really good football, to be fair. Really nice through ball. I thought for a moment that it was going to get taken off my toes by Tyler Roberts, but he left it for me. And on my left foot, it actually wasn't as accurate into the top corner as I'd hoped it would be. Keeper stood a chance there, but he didn't get it. We've a goal and an assist in the opening 20 minutes. This couldn't have been a more perfect start to the episode, really. Delighted. Socrates, Diakabi, bumped off it. Fibbo Back there to Ike Munayin, Fimboasen, Munayin, inside Spenya, forward there to Conan, to Ike Munayin again. It's an excellent cross. Drops, oh, Socrates with the pump, with the pump away, that was important. Pulisic, we switch this to the left, we could have sent Jordan Lukaku away, to be fair, Lukaku could still be sent away, and Kondogbia saw that, and finds the Belgian, cross to come in. There it is, Tyler Roberts underneath it, Balanta underneath that, and Pascu with a wild effort. I'm right over the top, flicked on well by Tyler Roberts, Kondobia gets there. I don't know as I took a first touch there, as it just hit me, but we've played through Tyler Roberts. He gives it to Kondobia, Jordan Lukaku, looking for Tyler Roberts again, and a chance wasted. I set Tyler Roberts through one-on-one, -on -one and he immediately passes the ball. That is one of the most infuriating things that the AI does. It's already decided what it's going to do before even I've com contemplated playing the pass to him. It's decided, right, if I receive the ball, I'm going to pass it here. There's <sighs> one thing about the AI on FIFA. Sometimes they just don't do the right thing. Good effort from Fimbo Arsene there that draws a save out of Neto. There have been some calls, speaking of the AI, there have been some calls to up the difficulty from world class to a higher level, either legendary or ultimate the only reason i haven't done that of course when i play full manager mode i play on ultimate the only reason i haven't done that thus far is because at the higher difficulty levels the opposing ai as in your opponent and to be fair to an extent unless you get yourself involved your own ai as well 
just two, don't three, play three, attacking three, three, football whatsoever. They're quite happy to just sit, pass it around, and have a nil-nil game. Strike for Finbar Larsson, not far wide at all. They're quite happy to sit and have a nil-nil game with one chance on goal each. And that doesn't make for good YouTube content. To ensure that the YouTube content is entertaining, or the gameplay is entertaining, we play on a lower difficulty. And as such, the AI, weirdly, are more attacking and more dangerous on a lower difficulty setting than they are at a higher difficulty setting. The thing that doesn't make sense is that the AI do attack in normal career mode. But they don't in player career mode. So, I'm not really too sure why that is. It's been an issue in FIFA for a number of years now. Oh, my, I thought my guy was going to get underneath that. Unfortunately, he didn't. But it is something that we've brought up to the, the guys at EA numerous times. And it's just a case of hoping that eventually they figure out a way to make it work. For the time being, we're going to have to stay on world class in a My Player series. I am contemplating... Starting a series to replace this if the support on it or if you guys Oh why is he ducked? I told my guy to shoot oh, I can't believe it <laughs> he's left it I told him to shoot and he's left it I am contemplating replacing this series with the career mode road to glory and keeping the Newcastle series going longer than initially intended I might do a vote on that over the next few days but I know there are those of you that really do enjoy the My Player series, so I would be quite reluctant to let that go on a whim. But if it's something that had, you know, a solid consensus amongst you, then certainly it would be something I would consider. But for the time being, the My Player continues, and for the time being, we're two 0 up here against Athletic Bilbao, just past the hour mark. They're looking to get themselves back in it. They've had chances to do so through the Icelandic striker Finbo Arsen, but they haven't yet been able to take any of them. All pinged over the top, and it might reach him. It has reached Gonzalo Guedes, but he's not been able to find me in the middle. Kazawa heads that back into the middle well, and still we come forward here. Lovan Kazawa not able to get the ball to a teammate, gets tackled, and Bilbao will look to build themselves. Conan over the top. They have been dangerous enough in this game to get themselves a draw. And they might yet get something out of it. As we've mentioned before, in La Liga, it's head-to-head -head results ahead of goal difference. So it doesn't matter if they do get one back and narrow the goal difference or even make it with regards to the end of the season in their favour. The overall result of a 2-1 win for us would see us finish above Bilbao in any given situation. But as it stands, they haven't even given themselves the option, although that could have been very dangerous as it was dipping. Tyler Roberts going off, and one presumes Rodrigo coming on in his place. Indeed it is, but he's only going to have about 90 seconds to have anything to say about what happens on the pitch. Three points, though, on the agenda here in game number one. Superb. Exactly what we need against a Champions League spots chasing rival. We now need to go and do exactly the same against Sevilla, although that is arguably a much more difficult task. Sevilla actually a side that I am considering doing a career mode with later in the year. I would like to do one in Spain now that they've got the added licensing with regards to the extra stadiums, etc. They've already, they had the uh, graphics package already last year, but they've got all of the stadiums and, well, not all of the stadiums, most of the stadiums and uh, some managers in there as well now. So I might like to do a La Liga save this year. I didn't last year. I went for Serie A instead and did the uh, Roma one, but I might consider it for next uh, for this year. And Sevilla would be probably the side that I'd do it with. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the potential of that series. But for now, we're going to concentrate on Sevilla themselves, but playing against them rather than playing with them. Soriano in goal for Sevilla. They're playing three at the back with Gomez, Felipe and Kier. Amadou holding, and then four in midfield with Quincy Promes, Ava Benega, Mesa, and someone whose uh, name I didn't quite read quickly enough, Mounier and Paulsen up top. Quincy Promes has four in his last three for Sevilla. So, spot there, danger man. Sackle by Kondogbia on Mounier. Dikabi back to Guedes, Kazawa. Given away to Jose Lara. Mounier to Roque Mesa. Into Amadou, to Ava Benega. Out wide to Lara. That was the one name I wasn't quick enough to read out. 
at the beginning of the game. Here's Mounier out to Lara again. He's been heavily involved for the man whose name I didn't get to mention, but thankfully his cross is poor and Tiakabi's clearance is done well. Guedes could get to that. He's done brilliantly. Now can I get to that too? Yes, we can. I was a bit fancy. Not necessarily as I intended it to be, but we're on the counter-attack. Kim Gonzalo Guedes could cross, and he does, and at the back post, free is Pulisic, and that is 1-0 Valencia. Oh, what a goal! A brilliant counter-attack. My fancy flick to keep the ball in play. Then working the ball about well, and the cross to pick up Pulisic at the back post was superb. Because of the because of the fact it was on a counter attack, the defensive positioning wasn't that good from Sevilla. And what about the finish as well at the end of it? First time volleyed left footed effort as he's jumping off the floor. That was quite a spectacular way to go in front. Promise into Munier. Here's Quincy Promise in the box for Sevilla. Crossed in, headed away. Guedes gets that first, just lays it into me. Rodrigo's making a run. I can't find him though. Mesa. Back to Felipe. Over the top. Terrible attempt at tackle from me. Lucy Bromis knocks that down well to Ava Benega. And here's Amadou. Amadou. Mesa. Palzen. It's on target, is it? No, it's going wide. They're building well, Sevilla. They are quite open at the back with only three defenders. But. When it comes to going foot, when it comes to going forward, their build-up play is very good. Munier to Yusuf Palzen again. He went for a long shot there, and thankfully the defender stepped in. And it's because of their three at the back. They keep leaving themselves open on the counter. It's one thing having the uh, man playing at CDM, but you need the extra space out wide because of the way or the formation that we play. A four-four-two is very heavily width-based. And to be fair, they aren't coping with our width. But so far, we've only been able to punish them once. And it did have to come on a counter-attack. When it comes... Oh, Palsen could be in here. He's got the pace to get away. I'm not sure whether he needed to shoot there, but he's gone for it. Ava Benega to take the corner here. I'm up the pitch, ready for a counter-attack. Benega takes... Well, that went into orbit, I think. And it hasn't yet come down. There it is, well held by the keeper. Five minutes to go till half time, still 1 0 Valencia. Forward there into Palzen. Back to Amadou again. Jose Lara. It's Mounier. Lara. Mounier. Good turn away by Neto. And Lima completes the clearance. The opposition have had chances in both of today's games so far. To, oh, to cause us problems and to get goals. They're just not being very clinical right now. We have seen at times the AI be very clinical with minimal chances. At present, they're creating a number of opportunities but not being very clinical at all. My first touch there on my chest was not very good at all on that particular occasion. Palzen... It's been very dangerous for them going forward. Not seen yet much of Quincy Promise, to be completely honest, considering they were focusing him, focusing on him at the beginning of the game, or heading into the game, with regards to his recent goal-scoring record. But just before the hour mark here, still just a slim margin of victory for us at one goal to nil, with still a third of the game to go. I'm over the top. Flicked on by Rodrigo. We play that around the corner there to Christian Pulisic. It's three of us in the box to aim for. Oh! Doesn't need anyone. Thumping finish from Christian Pulisic. His and our second of the game. I'll take the assist. I was expecting him to cross it to one of the three of us in the middle. To get perhaps a goal for us. But he's just driven inside there with the pace. And shot power. Keeper. Just flattened on his backside. It just whizzed past him before he even knew what was happening. Straight past the keeper into the roof of the net. 2 0 Valencia. Pizarro down the line. Oh, it's great football. Whipped across. It's not going to find the teammate. Amadou, Roque Mesa, Felipe. Roque Mesa, Vasquez, Amadou on the counter attack. We scored a goal against them on the counter attack. Are they about to repay the favour? Lara. 
Cross could come in still. There it is. Mounier underneath it. Neto with the punch. Wedes. Call for it. Coquelin finds me. We'll get it across there to Plessic, who's on a hat trick, of course. I'll look for him again, but Franco Vasquez, of all people, tracks back to get in the way. Coquelin out wide to Plessic. Just be wary of the offside line. I see the man at the back post. I have to cross it to him. And there's a third. Another counter attack. Gonzalo Guedes. He's come to celebrate. Wow, that was really nice. He purposefully picked me out there to come and celebrate with me. Great team morale here at Valencia. We have certainly made an impact to the starting lineup, made an impact to the overall performance of the team, and slotted in superbly well and become one of the family very, very quickly indeed here in Spain. I'm really enjoying playing at Valencia right now. We're 3 0 up here against Sevilla. We've had a, a big part to play in almost every single game that we've had since arriving at the club. And today alone, we've been very important. And these are two very big victories, not only with regards to scoreline, but also with regards to impact on the league table. Delighted to be coming away with six points in these two games. And I believe the third game is against Lugo, who was, in fact, our first opponent in Spain. So it would be nice to see how far we've developed since that game. Although, to be fair... Oh, maybe another assist, to be fair, against that in that game against Lugo, in our first game at, at Valencia. It was in between two cup ties against Betis that very much needed first-team footballers to be played, or first-team regulars to be played in. So, heavily rotated side that didn't necessarily give the right impression of what life would be like here at Valencia. So, if we start a strong team against Lugo this time around, or at least anywhere near a strong team against Lugo, it won't necessarily perhaps be a fair reflection. But if we do rotate, as we might well do, as the manager might well do, then, you know, it'd be nice to see if we've uh, improved, because I believe it was a nil-nil draw against Lugo. But we are now up to fourth. However, teams below us do have games in hand. This top four fight will go all the way to the end of the season. And it is Lugo next. For team here. Aziz, picked off by Pascu. Lissic. Can dog be up? Oh, goes up wide towards Jordan Lukaku, who's won that header well. And I'll look to play him back in. Superb 1 2. Oh, I couldn't get to it. I wanted to thump that as hard as possible. I couldn't quite reach it. Did fall to a teammate who shot because it registered me, registered me pressing the uh, shoot button. Oh, wow, 11 games played at home by Lugo this season and only nine points from them. I don't know where they are in the league, but judging by that return, one would presume bottom. Lugo not having the best of times. So we are actually playing a stronger side than we did in the previous one. As we mentioned, I thought we might. But we'll have to wait and see if that results in a result. It didn't last time we played Lugo, but as we say... Playing a stronger team and Pulisic with a... Oh, why is he headed that first time? Show some composure, man. Take a touch. You're in on goal. Kondogbia. Daisy takes a touch. Oh, and he very nearly scores. If only he'd done that last time. Corners come in. I'll call for the cross. I'm at the near post. It's over me. And Charlie Colquitt will head away. Kondogbia. Out there to Pulisic nicely to Tyler Roberts. Here's the right back pushing forward. And Tyler Roberts is in. And there's the cross. Well, I went for the diving header. Just didn't get near the ball because the defender has gotten rid of it. Where's this corner going to go? Over me. Oh. Rosewell there, dear Carby, but didn't actually get to the ball. That's played into me nicely. Round the corner there. Should have shot first time. Oh, I don't know why I've shot there. It's pure frustration <laughs> from my teammate not shooting. Unfortunately, after half an hour, we haven't yet carved the opportunity to give us a 1-0 lead. Kondogbia. Ty Roberts having dropped short. Pulisic bursting forward. Scoops that looking for Jordan Lukaku. I'm in a decent position, but Lukaku can't get to it. Kozawa can't get to that. And now he's committed. He's well out of position. And Donoso could give Lugo a glorious opportunity to take a 1-0 lead before half-time. The cross is decent, but not good enough. And he'll let that go. The right decision, I think. For a throw. And they'll work it inside here. Still looking to get a 1-0 lead here, Lugo. Would certainly be 
a shock if they were to get a win here. It would perhaps be a shock if they were to get a point at home against Valencia. But they're in for the goal to go in front. And if it weren't for Neto, they might well have done it. Charlie Colquitt to take the corner. Lugo on the attack. They taste blood here. Oh, or smell blood. It's probably the phrase to use, isn't it? No tasting of blood yet. They haven't been able to land a bite. Aku Kazawa to me. Help that on to Tyler Roberts. Oh, will it find him? No, it won't. Nice attempt. Quite able to get there. I was going to say not quite fast enough, but I think Christian Pulisic is fast enough for almost every situation. His pace wasn't the problem there. It was the weight of the pass. Building nicely here, though, Lugo. And a beautiful little back heel. But unfortunately for them, their final ball, other than the one occasion where they had that one-on-one -on -one chance at the end of the first half, their final ball hasn't been enough. But despite the fact we're playing a stronger team here and we're in good form, we're still trundling towards a nil-nil draw against Lugo, which I was hoping we wouldn't do. Jordan Lukaku played in, but his touch lets him down. And the defender outmuscles him as well, which is rare. Kondogbia into Tyler Roberts. They gave the ball away. Pulisic wide. 25 minutes to go. Campillo. Aziz. Campillo. Aziz. Campillo. Babayan. Finally, they pass to someone else. Aziz. Out wide to Donoso. Kike. Whoa. Flashing wide of the post. Lugo playing some good football. Unfortunately for them, they can't score a goal to save their lives. Lukaku. Lukaku. Drilled to Pulisic. Here's Rodrigo to me. Oh, they backed off. You can't do that. Ah, he's gone for a header with a second effort there. That was nowhere near good enough, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, I'm really frustrated that we haven't been able to get ourselves a goal here against Lugo. They are... By far the worst side we've played so far in Spain since arriving from Brazil. But we can't seem to score a goal against them. Seven minutes to go, six minutes to go. I'll call for this. Around the corner there to Pulisic. I've gone again, but ended up running straight against the defender, which didn't necessarily help my progression. Here's Rodrigo. In there to Kondogbia. Nice drop of the shoulder. I'll call for this. I'll get it. We turned well. Oh! And then what is that? We're so anxious to get that goal that despite having the space there to pick my spot, he spooned it over the bar. Kike, Diaz, through to Aziz. Double step over to beat no one. Aziz still going though. Donoso will try to squeeze it through. It might drop to Aziz. It has done, but Coquelin is there to recover. If Lugo had snuck a win there at the very death of the game... I'd have been furious. We can beat Bilbao. We can beat Sevilla handsomely. But we cannot beat Lugo. They've taken two points of us this season. And if those two points are the difference between getting Champions League football next year for Valencia and not getting Champions League football next year for Valencia, then I will be particularly disappointed. We have the second leg of the Copa del Rey semi-final against Hetafe coming up in the next episode. That will be pretty straightforward with 3-0 up from the first leg. And in the league now, we are out of the top four and down to fifth. And actually, a gap emerging. Hetafe with a four-point lead. Lugo are rock bottom. But they're closer to sporting than they were before because they've gotten a point. In fact, they've only lost. Only lost. They've only lost 16 games this season, which is still uh, the second worst in the league. But they've drawn five games. They just have only won three. But Celta have only won three, and they're outside the relegation zone. There perhaps is hope yet for Lugo, but we've Hatafe next, and we are very, very close to a cup final. Sociedad will be the game after that, and then Villarreal, who are uh, both, actually, I believe, two more sides pushing for the top four. Villarreal and Sociedad, seventh and eighth, and we're in fifth. Two big games today, and then one that we should have won but didn't, and two big games in the next one on Thursday. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too for more. I will see you tomorrow.